Hi, this is Todd Welch with TC Tech's Computers, and today I'm going to teach you how to keep your drivers updated on your computer using a program called DriverMax, which is something that we use every day to keep our customers' computers up to date and update their drivers when they're having issues. So the first thing we have to do is download the program, which if you open up your favorite browser, I'm using Mozilla Firefox, I have created a short website address for you at tctext.com slash drivermax and if you go to that website that'll take you right to the drivermax page alternately you can open up your favorite search engine and type drivermax and hit enter and one of the top links is going to be drivermax.com which you can click on and download the program there now, DriverMax has a couple versions, a free version and a paid version. The free version is a little more manual than what the paid version is. If you use the paid version, you can download as many drivers as you want all at the same time and let them automatically install it for you in the background. With the manual version, you're going to have to uh, do each one individually manually. So let's go ahead and download the program. You can either click here to download it or download it here. And I'm going to click on this big orange download now button. And it takes me to another page. I have to click on download now again, which takes me to CNET.com, which is a very reputable site for downloading programs. So we can click on the download now green button here. And in a second, our download is going to start. If for some reason it doesn't, you can click on this link here where it says restart the download. Right here. And my download popped up. So I'm going to hit save file. You may be able to hit just run if you're using Internet Explorer or another browser, but I'm going to have to save it. And it goes up to this little download arrow for me and I can click on this I see that the download is done already it's only 5.5 megabytes we'll click on that and we'll run it if you get a security pop-up click yes and here is the installation program now I'm gonna click next through this and as always whenever you're doing this make sure you're always paying attention to what is being shown here because a lot of these programs especially free programs are going to try to install other things on your computer Now everything is fine so far we'll click next and let that install if there was an advanced option you always want to do the advanced option to make sure that the program is not installing something that you don't want because a lot of times to monetize these programs make money off of them they'll try to install uh, other programs that they're being paid to have you install so the installation is finished I'm gonna leave launch driver max because we want to start it up right away if you didn't want to start it up you could uncheck that but we're going to leave that checked for now and click finish. And here is the main driver max program. I'm going to minimize my browser there so we don't have anything distracting us. And we have a bunch of buttons here. The main one that you want to worry about is scan now or scan for updates now. Uh, they have it here as well and what that's going to do is scan your computer to see if you have any driver updates um, a quick detour though if you did purchase the paid version which is going to allow you to automate things easier you're going to want to click on settings and then click on user account and this is where you're going to be able to enter your username and password to unlock the professional version and you might see I already have the professional version unlocked because it's something that I use quite frequently so we've paid to have a professional version so everything's more automated for us and we're gonna click next it allows you to enter the email and password that you uh, created when you purchased the pro account if you haven't purchased already you can click create driver max account right here 
Um, and we're going to close that and go back. We're using this back arrow, arrow up here. Back, back again. And now we're back to the main page. So we're going to click on Scan for Updates Now, or this yellow button here. Both do the same thing. And it's going to scan your computer to see if there's any updated drivers for your computer uh, that have been released since the last time you scanned it. All right, now here's what it's showing us. It's showing on my system I have two drivers that need to be updated. And I know they need to be updated by this red circle here. These green checkmark ones down here are all up to date, so we don't have to worry about those. It does give you a download button for them um, if you wanted to download them for whatever reason, but you shouldn't have to, as we only want to update the ones that are need to be updated, that have newer versions. And you can see these versions, this one's been released on May 22nd, 2015. This one has been updated on April 16th, 2015 and new driver updates are coming out all the time so this is something you'll want to do uh, fairly frequently maybe once or twice a month should be fine so we want to get these drivers and we're going to just click on this download button over here which is going to download that driver for us and right now it's just connecting to the driver max server so we'll wait for that to be done and now you can see it's downloading our driver there's a little bar down here that's showing the progress of downloading drivers. Um, now it's shown that I have downloaded drivers in the past, uh, so that's because I've used this program. Yours will probably not say that it's downloaded more than one driver since we've only clicked on one, um, unless you've used this program in the past. So again, I'm going to click on download for this second driver because we want to get them all downloading. And if you have more than two, which you probably do if you haven't run this before, just click download on all of them with the red exclamation point here, or the red X, I should say, the red circle with the X in the middle. And we'll just give this a second here while this gets downloaded. It's going to take a little while depending on the size of the drivers. Once it's done, it will notify us here as this red bar goes across on the bottom of the screen. Okay, now our drivers are finished downloading. You can see down here two of two drivers. Before it said 18, uh, in the break there I went through and cleared out the old drivers so that uh, you wouldn't be confused from the ones that I've already done previously. So now that those drivers are downloaded, what we're going to do is click on View. Any one of these View buttons will take us to view the drivers that have been downloaded or we can click on click to view here as well. So we'll click on that and this is the screen that lists all the drivers that we've downloaded that need to be installed. And what we can do is click on each of these to install them. If you have the free version, which that's what you'll have to do, is click install on each one of these uh, individually and it will go through the install to install the drivers. Now what's great with DriverMax compared to other driver updating programs is that it's going to automatically go through the install for us. Other programs that I've worked with make you manually go through the install. So that's one benefit of using DriverMax over some of the other programs. So let's go ahead and click on the install button here and it is going to install that driver for us. Right here, this window is very important. Do you want to create a restore point before installing? What a restore point is, is it's going to make a spot in time on this computer so if something goes wrong, we can go back to that point in time. And it's very important that you do this because when you're doing driver updates, most likely nothing is going to go wrong, but it's always better safe than sorry and giving us the ability to go back in time before we did these driver updates very easily um, and get the computer back up and running. So go ahead and click on yes to create this restore point 
and it's going to go through creating a restore point for us and when it's done it's going to go ahead and start installing the driver okay so the restore point is done and it's installing the driver now the restore point did take about a minute to create so it's going to take a little bit of time depending on your computer system and now it's installing the driver which could take um, anywhere from a minute to a few minutes depending on how big the driver is okay now our driver installation is complete so we can click OK and it says a reboot is required after the driver installation please close all applications and restart your computer and we're gonna hit OK there now that's something that you'll want to do after you're done installing all of the drivers uh, you can do that to restart make sure everything is still working pro properly um, you don't have to do that after every driver I usually go through and install all the drivers and then reboot to make sure everything is good to go we have one more driver here we can click on install again to install that driver alternately if you had paid for the professional edition you can click select all down below here and click install and that's going to just go ahead and install all of the drivers all at one time and it's going to be done you can reboot and get on with your day um, if you haven't paid for that obviously you're going to have to click on install each one manually so let's do this last driver installer it's going to ask if I want to create a restore point again before installing I'm going to say yes and let it create that restore point now it's installing the driver for us now one thing to keep in mind too that uh, when you're installing these drivers your screen may flash things may stop working just give it time everything will come back to normal it's a normal thing that happens when you're updating drivers especially if it's updating your video driver or USB drivers or something like that so don't worry if things are flashing on your screen your screen goes blank things like that it's a natural thing that happens it will come back once the driver is done being installed okay so that driver installation is complete we can click OK you can see the icon that said new here before is gone which means it's been installed it's done now this is the main downside to driver max is I don't like that these drivers stay here after they've been installed because when you download new drivers you could accidentally install these old drivers as well so make sure you get in the habit of deleting these when you're done with them just by clicking the red delete button and clicking yes and those drivers will be gone so there we go there's no more downloads in our list if we click back and hit scan for updates now we should have no more driver updates that need to be done if you do for some reason go ahead and continue on the steps that we just did but if your computer is up to date then you are good to go and you can come back and check in maybe another month or so and you'll probably have more drivers that need to be updated so that is the basics of driver max uh, again the free version you do them one at a time the paid version you can do them all at once in one bulk and get them done really quickly for you so I will put the link for you to download this in the description down below again that's tctext.com slash driver max to get there and if this video helped you please click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel uh, to get more how-to videos on how to keep your computer running and up to date and working perfectly for you again this is Todd Welch with TC Techs Computers and happy computing